Hi, good afternoon. I'm James from Access Bay, and welcome to the latest in our series of GPI Friday sessions. So we've already spoken about what GPI is and what it can do for the banking community, but today we're going to talk a bit about what it can do for the corporates. So corporates are our primary customers here at Access Pay, and we often get asked the question as to how this GPI information and these new GPI tools can be of benefit to them. So Basically, if we uh, think back to some of the features that GPI provides in terms of the rich data set, um, then there's a whole host of benefits that that could potentially provide to the corporate customer. Using the directory, the observer, the tracker, then we could actually get into the, into the realms of doing smart payment routing. So a corporate customer armed with that kind of data would be able to assess exactly what the path of least resistance would be for any individual international payment taking into account as well things like what's the most cost efficient from an FX perspective, what intermediary banks are likely to take the, the smallest amount of lifting fees off the payment, and crucially as well, who's gonna process these payments in the fastest time possible. So smart, that kind of smart payment routing, decision-making solutions, um, allowing the customer to select uh, the best route for a cross-border payment um, that's gonna deliver cost benefits uh, to the organisation is clearly one of the one of the opportunities from Swift GPI. Additionally, um, the corporate customer could benefit from all kinds of uh, bill pay and invoice pay type solutions. So, using Swift GPI, then actually you could uh, reconcile payments uh, based on for forewarning and, and forenotice of those payments coming in against invoices that you've issued if you're a supplier waiting to receive funds. Equally, if you had a platform where the supplier can upload invoices, the payer uh, or the buyer automatically triggers a payment off the back of those invoices and then shares the tracking data with their customer, with the, with the supplier, then you've got the makings uh, using the GPI data and the tracking solution um, of a much, much, much further enhanced um, invoice pay type solution. Um, additionally, around bank SLA monitoring, well, if you've got this kind of information on processing times at intermediaries, lifting fees, FX charges, um, then bank, uh, corporates can start to hold their banks to account according to SLAs. If, you're, if your bank is not providing you good value on receipt of funds um, on a consistent basis because those funds are being received late, actually that might be uh, inefficiencies in their back office uh, operations processing departments, not quite qualifying those funds to your account in time. And so actually, if you've got GPI and you're able to track the payment incoming and you can see what time that payment has arrived at the bank, then you've got recourse to go back to the bank and say, I want good value on these funds because you had them for 60 minutes before cutoff, etc. Um, and we're going to focus a little bit in detail on the forecasting of receivables. So uh, in our first session around what is Swift GPI, then we talked about the fact that Access Pay are winners of the Swift GPI industry challenge. And the solution that we put forward in that industry challenge was all around forecasting of receivables for corporate treasurers and the benefits that, that GPI can bring to enhance cash flow forecasting. So just to quickly go over exactly what that solution is, we know that corporate treasurers the world over are looking for ways to better forecast cash flow, um, establish better practices for working capital management. And forecasting their incomings, their receivables, is one, way, one area where there's, there's plenty of scope for improvement. Sure, there's pre-advice notices that you can put up, but actually they are they're sort of like they're pretty unintelligent um, uh, messages right now. They, they don't update based on the payment uh, status as it goes through the, the chain of intermediaries. But GPI has this data. So if in the future the GPI information can be exposed to the corporate customer, then imagine if the amount is remitted from the, the payer, um, from you know, your supplier and from your buyer, for example, and you've got, info, you've got access to this kind of data where there's you know, the remitting bank, the receiving bank, the beneficiary bank, and, and two other uh, banks in the uh, intermediary banks in the chain, and you're able to track exactly what stage that payment is at um, at all times. It's, it's fully transparent to you. You can track how much uh, charges have been lifted off the principal amount as it goes through in each of those banks. Um, you can track what effect, FX rate has been applied on the cross-border payment. And you can then work out exactly the specific amount that's going to be received. 
um, and what time it's going to be received because you've got all the all the information to tell you the processing time at each each stage in the chain and we know that gpi is delivering huge benefits in terms of the speed that these payments are being processed to to the to the end beneficiary as well so if you had all this information from the uh, the gpi apis that was available to the corporate customer then all of a sudden you, your corporate customer has got better cash flow forecasting, better working capital management uh, information, uh, better intraday liquidity data that's coming to them um, to enhance their current post processes. So our proposition was that um, this type of information, as well as GPI allowing you to, to track your outbound payments, um, the tracking of receivables and the forecasting of cash that's coming to you is of equal value. Um, and in uh, a, a world where interest rates are likely um, on, on a broadly global basis to go, to go upwards, then being able to, to better forecast um, your cash positions, make more timely and earlier investment decisions on your cash balances, multi-currency um, for a corporate treasurer, that's hugely valuable information. And just one example of how GPI can be of real benefit to the corporate customer.